As a tall cyclist at six foot eight, I often get asked the same question. Does being big make you any faster on the bike? To which I answer, probably not. Although I honestly do not know. So today I thought I'd find out. I've recruited Max Stedman, who is conveniently much smaller and lighter than I am. And in a series of head-to-head -head battles on the bike, who's gonna come out on top? Tall and heavy or small and light? And the games commence. Here he is then, NBA's MVP 2023. Oh, here, here we go, right, the joke's gonna be right all day. Do you wanna go in the kids' bike before we start, Yeah, Max? I mean, I'm actually pretty good at monkey bars. Power to weight ratio. Before we get going then, let's run through some vital stats. I'm six foot eight, coming in at 90 kilograms in weight. Max, on the other hand, five foot five, or 1.67 centimeters, weigh in 55 kilos. In cycling terms, we're at both ends of the spectrum. I'm suited more to flats, maybe more of a diesel effort that can chug along on the front of a, of a big group. Max, on the other hand, as efficient as you can get, and he loves climbs of all shapes and sizes. But cycling isn't purely about just riding on the flat or just riding up a climb. You have to take everything into account. So how we fare when we do just that? Starting off with a good old draft effect. Drafting is a seriously important aspect of cycling. When you're riding behind the rider in front of you, you're saving energy, sheltering from the wind, meaning you can save those watts for when they're needed most towards the end of a ride or maybe a sprint down the road. Of course, it matters the shape and the size of the rider in front of you, and that will dictate how much energy you save by riding behind them. I resemble the size of a double-decker bus, so give quite a lot of draft. Max, on the other hand, more of a Fiat 500, not quite as much of a draft. What is the relative difference though between the two of us? We're about to find out now. So I've decided to pick a stretch of road around a kilometre long. We're going to ride side by side at 30 kilometres an hour, see what our average power is. Then we're going to repeat it, myself behind Max, then Max behind myself. See what the relative difference is and see who comes out on top, who has the best draft effect. You know the answer, but how much by? Come on, Max. Fastest barn gate around, that is. Okay, so we are repeating the effort. This time, Max is behind me. When we're riding side by side, I did 355 watt average. Max did 240 watt average, so a bit of a difference already. Let's see how much he saves on my wheel, though. You right back there, Max? Yeah, it's all good. I'm just um, uh, staring at your bum all day, basically. Results of the draft challenge are in there, and actually quite surprising. Well, Max took the victory, I think that was always inevitable, but the difference is quite stark. So you saved 35% sitting on my wheel. Yeah. So it was 240 watts and riding in the wind. 156 behind you. Behind me. I was freewheeling a lot of points. That is bonkers. <laughs> so when I was riding behind Max, I managed 253 watts. But in the wind, I did 355 watts, so pretty much no difference, Bang which on. is mental. This is why I'm not a lead up man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd get something, but there is a strong yeah, headwind. And it was there is, yeah, and I guess it just going straight over my back, and, and this is the biggest frontal area of wind. When you were racing, were you always trying to look for a rider like me in the bunch? Uh, kind of in a way, yeah, because I could actually see more of the road. A lot of the problem I had when racing is that I was basically just staring at asses all day and you can't see like potholes or anything like that coming up and a lot of small riders will say this, I'm not the only one, we're always peering over like really? the backside of the rider in front trying to see what's coming. It's a different experience, see I'm always trying to look over the yeah. top. <laughs> Sometimes the bad things, you see what's coming and you're like oh my goodness yeah. they're about to go into something pretty crazy. But anyway, draft, Matt, Max takes the draft win or do I take the draft win, I don't know because I give a better draft than Max. 
Yeah. So who gets the point? I'm not sure. Let us know in the comment section below. Now though, it's time for some sprinting. See who's got the raw power. Probably not me. I don't know if it's we'll me see. either. Spent a winter in the gym, so. On to the next challenge now, sprinting. And many of you watching at home will think this one might be clear cut and taller. Heavier rider might have more power to take the sprints, but I don't think it's going to be that clear cut. Max is lighter, he's got less weight to accelerate. So this is going to be an interesting one because I've picked three different types of sprints. One rolling start, one standing start, and one free for all. Race scenarios if we're racing to the line. Let's see who takes it. You ready, mate? I'm always racing to the line. Good luck. Let's do it. Ah. Here we go in five, four, three, two, <laughs> okay, so Max just nicked the rolling start sprint. Now you've got a standing start. So I think we'll play to your advantage being lighter. So we're going from standstill to max sprint. You ready? Three. Two, one, go! Oh, no. oh, he's actually straight off the blocks. Oh, absolutely smashed me. <laughs> absolutely smashed me. Okay then, last sprint. Race scenario. Can go whenever. I'm playing at KG. You know, I'm gonna force Connor into leading this one here. I'm going for an early one. He's gonna go Ooh. early. Ooh. It's brave. Again, thank you. <laughs> oh, sprint is over. We said we give ourselves three different ones. The best of three took it. In the end, Max won every single sprint. Fair one. Yeah. My um, max power is 1300 watts. Yeah, I hit 980, which is a, a new PB by a singular watt. So, you know, don't be too disarmed. I thought I'd get you on the rolling one. So I figured once I was up to momentum, up to speed, yeah, I'd be able to carry that. The standing one was... The standing one, you absolutely yeah. trounced me in the standing start. It was just, you could, it was visible from the gun. It just disappeared like a Ferrari. <laughs> For I 500 was, above. I was like a double-decker bus. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, it literally was double-decker bus versus sporty hatchback. But it shows a difference in power too, because I, I was at higher watts as well, and still you were faster than me. Yeah. So just getting that weight up to speed and accelerating. Beaten by someone who can't even hit four figures. <laughs> Right then, on to the next challenge, I guess. Max is rubbing it in. On to the climb, which I don't think it suits me either. <laughs> now then, the climb, which I don't think I'm going to stand much of a chance at, but I'm interested to see what the differences are between yourself and me. I think we do a, we're now out and out race, bottom to top. Mano, mano. Mano and mano. All right. And then we compare power, time, heart rate afterwards, see how much effort I have to put out to, to get beaten. He's well, buzzing. might not be beaten, He's never knows. Man, let's change if things happen. We've got one kilometre climb behind us, around 9% average gradient. Perfect for, for the challenge. For, for Max yeah, or sorry. me. And for the challenge, of course. Yeah. And for the challenge. And Should we do it? Yeah. Go, go easy. No, don't go easy with me. Go hard with me. just rammed up? Yeah, just smash it. <laughs> right. See how long I can hold your wheel. I'm going to make the, the most of that useless draft you give me anyway. All right, I'm going to have to shut up now because my legs are already screaming. How are you feeling? I can't really talk that much. <laughs> I've already got anaerobic. I haven't even hit the worst part yet. <sighs> ah. Oh, God.
Go on, big man. Nice work. Well, that's the climb over. Definitely felt that one. Max absolutely smashed me. I did feel it as well. Well, I tried to hold on to you as long as I could. I was actually quite happy. Yeah, I you held did pretty on a bit, well, yeah. A bit longer than I expected, but I made it up there in four minutes, around four and a half watts a kilo. That's 412 yeah. watts for the entire climb. What time did you do? Uh, I did about two and a half minutes and 430 watts, which is about 7.7, 7.8 watts a kilo. So you flew up there a minute and a half faster. Now, let's face it, you are massively fitter than I am. Yes. You're actually looking for a pro contract at the moment as your team's yeah. sadly folded recently. So if anyone wants to pick up Max, give him a buzz. I'm flying, In literally. the comments, he, he is actually <laughs> flying. Um, but if I was at the height of my fitness and I wanted to keep up with you there on that climb, what sort of watts would I have had to do uh, So roughly at 90 kilos, Connor would be looking at a mammoth 700 watts for two and a half minutes. Which I don't honestly don't think I'm going to manage. I think there's only one person who can do that. Yeah, and they're Felipe winning every, Garner. every single, yeah. Philippe <laughs> Garner would do it, wouldn't he? Probably do it. He's probably one of few good. Yeah. So if I ever want to keep up with Max, I basically need to transform into Philippe Garner. Or just be lighter. Isn't going to happen. Anyway, should we want to the next challenge? Maybe one of the tall riders will win one of them. Yeah, I reckon, yeah. Do you want me to fix it or what? Or no I fixing. Just... This is an authentic one, Max. I think braking power, though. Braking power, I might get you on. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, we've come away from the climbs and we are now testing out braking power. So this is going to be an interesting one because I think, I'm actually not sure what I think. I think because you're lighter, you probably yeah, might you nab it. Yeah, think maybe a bit less momentum on my part, so I might, but I, I don't know. Let us know in the comments what you reckon. Yeah. Now then, let's give it a shot. We're going to ride up to about 35 kilometers an hour, count ourselves in side by side. Whoever breaks the soonest, quickest, Wins it's, the challenge. Yeah. Good luck, mate. Okay, right. We're up to speed. Our count is in. Right. Person who stops the quickest wins. Right, three, two, one, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm good for something. Yeah, braking. Good at stopping. I reckon just massive wind break. Yeah, yeah, there's a few other factors to play in. I mean, different tyres, yeah. wind. Um, but still, I thought the lighter rider would have would have, Maybe, would have won that yeah, one. less momentum. But, but I, I guess the heavier person's got more weight applied down on the on the tyres, so yeah, it's I helping to bring him to a stop. a lot of skidding. You were doing a lot of skidding. Yeah. I wasn't skidding, so I was able to make the most of at the brakes, but at least I've won something. Go on, the tour car. 3-1. Three, 3-1, one. Three, one. there you go. One last challenge. See if I can draw some more pride back. Yeah, I mean, it's guaranteed loss at this point, so, but, you know, in the name of science. Okay. This one's slightly rigged. Flat effort. All out flat effort. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. Final challenge then, one that I hope the big folk can uh, celebrate a win in. This is a sort of head-to-head half-wheeling challenge. So basically we're going to set off and gradually ramp the pace up side by side. First one to get dropped loses. So it's a bit more of a question of absolute power than power to weight that we saw on the climb. I think you might still nab me, mainly because you're way fitter than me at the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah it'll be good. It's going to be an interesting be good. little battle. So um, there's nothing else for it really. Can the uh, the old half wheel off. Can the half wheel off the be drag taken race. by the giant? Can I get one back? Let's do it. All right. So, gradually ramp it up. Gradually, Max. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a drag race. Well, it is kind of a drag race. A slow so. drag race. Okay. Winner has to put the other one behind their back wheel. He's got it. Ah! 
Oh, good effort, man. Even my size 14 feet wrong. We're in the paint gate. So, all has been said and done. Max managed to take three, I took two, so. Fairly even-ish. Nice one, mate. I took thought I was gonna run end. away with it, to be honest, but. So you know, did I, but. Managed to claw some back. Managed to get a bit of pride back at the end. The, the flat effort was interesting. I thought, um, I still come up short, but I guess that sort of absolute power for us taller, bigger riders does kind yeah, of shine through a bit. 800 watts just goes faster than 550, to be honest. And we're in a tailwind, so there was less kind yeah. of wind resistance getting taken into account. So it really was a question of absolute power. So yeah. So if you are tall and big, then your, your, main, um, your main advantage Go, uh, is stopping or going really fast in a tailwind. Go live in Abu Dhabi or... Yeah, Guitar, and right. avoid the climbs. But we do any, joke. Any because, deserts are uh, a recommendation. Yeah, any deserts with a massive tail, <laughs> go for those. Yeah. But um, don't be disheartened if you're a tall, tall big rider like myself, because it's not just about going fast on the bike. And also, you know, I'm still suffering on the climbs, but we, we have our moments. Yeah. I think it's fair to say. Definitely, for sure. Belgium but, as well. But I guess the, the yeah, cobbles, that's another challenge. Yeah, the limbs. Yeah, cobbles. Right, so we need to get a follow up with Max. Yeah. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thanks to Max, who uh, took the crown for the, the small yeah. light folk. And he seriously is looking for a team. So get involved in the comments below if you yeah. know anyone who if might be interested. Yeah, the UCI team, please get in touch. Let us know if you're a tall or a small rider down in the comments too, and which your sort of areas of advantage is and where you maybe suffer. Let us know suffer. if you train with a particularly taller rider than you or smaller rider than you and how it affects like how it affects just your Sunday yeah. ride or anything yeah. like that really. Who's your favourite rider to draft behind? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching as always and we'll see you on the next video. Max can get me lunch now because I'm a hungry, right. hungry rider too. I'm unemployed mate. You're buying lunch. Yeah, I'll get you lunch. <laughs>